Get our wheels on the side of the work and it's set and now they're on this tractor again. I started getting an intermittent problem where it wouldn't charge the battery properly again. So what I did this time, I actually found myself some wet and dry sandpaper. And what I did, left it around a pencil laser. Because I did use my finger behind this at first and press and obviously the friction got bloody hot. So I used this nice soft pencil eraser, pressed it against it really hard while the engine was running. So this was instead of so this is just like having the lathe. So I just had to hold it on there as hard as I possibly could. Then what I done, I got a rag, a clean rag, held it against there, buffed it, then did this process again and buffed it a couple of times. So we got a nice smooth finish and got rid of most of those um those um uh, grooves left by the brushes. This is um careful not drop anything here. This is just uh, pretty fine grit, wet and dry paper. What you use for um, polishing plastic and so that sort of stuff. Getting rid of um when you're doing plastics, buffing edges and stuff. What you use for buffing? So I just use a bit of that. Polish this as best as I could, then buffed it with a rag and blew this housing out with compressed air because it does leave a lot of conductive mess in there. Contact cleaner, you see that thing buffed up very good. That should work perfectly, this out and that. But um, this whole back module here, you can see the main brush rubs in the middle. That brush there rubs in the middle and that's got plenty of meat in it. But this um, other one which rubs on this outer ring here, you can see that one there is nearly all the way gone. There's not much of a swing pushing that anymore, so... I might have to get a brush kit for this. You can see under those bolts, those two things come out with those yellow and the orange wire come off. They come out. And yeah, and there's another one here with this little, which goes to the um, regular voltage regulator module, bolts under the other brush. So they get these brush, hopefully these brushes should be cheap. I don't know if Repco sells these sorts of brushes, but... I'll probably be able to sand that down a bit and get that fl edge flat again so I can get good continuity when the engine's running the charge of battery. So, I'll do a multimeter test here. Because, yeah, this wouldn't run it when the engine was idling, this wouldn't charge. I had to rev the engine a tiny bit to get it to boost up. So, I'll see if I can do this with one hand on the camera. Ohms. I don't know what the hell the spec of this has to be, but. Do a rough measurement. Three point nine, five point eight ohms between the warnings. I don't know what the specs are for this out and that, but it's five point eight ohms. Cut you already. Know, Otherwise, it should be fine. There shouldn't be any open circuit in there. If I can get a good contact, that is. Can't get good continuity. Maybe my multimeter lead bag. Yeah, see my multimeter lead stuffed. I did get a measurement though of continuity a bit for a second, so that winding is fine. It is a it is a closed circuit, so that's good. But as you can see here it's made a little groove in the middle, and that's left in that middle brush. I'll try and sand that down a bit if I can. This and just run my finger down it. Get that edge flat. And hopefully the out then it should be charging again fine and not have to um we shouldn't have to just rev the engine and try and get the voltage to compensate. Much better. And I don't think this is original to this tractor because these tractors back in the 70s would have had the Lucas generators on them. This would have been put on here later on to compensate for the lights and the, yeah, whenever you put a heavy load in these things with the Lucas generator, it bet you be flat in no time. But with this, these out nanos are designed for these tractors to be used for, for multiple lights and stuff when you're on the farm. It's a contact cleaner, or well, should probably blow it out first. Got all my dust residue out of there. Put the conductive trails out. Let's try and put this back on. 
That looks much better though, those brushes. That middle one, I've got that groove out, so hopefully this outlet shouldn't be too much of a hassle now. So, bolt that back on. Regulator sits in there. And yeah, it should work perfectly after that. It's a good thing I just got this out and then the first time I took it off I didn't even actually need to take it off. I just did this in the first place. But anyway, at least now I know. Get that bolt there on. Put the bottom on before I drop it. Uh, where is it? I don't find where the hell the hole is now. Hopefully this out then it shouldn't um, have too much problems. All that we need now is just brushes. Yeah, that other brush is pretty damn low. Yeah, that it has done some work. Come on there, I don't know how much of those wires are still attached and they are. They're these finger tight. Then put this module on. Then we'll do the rest with um yeah, how they're supposed to be tensioned. So this brush here has two wires coming off it. One goes in the regulator and the ground goes off the regulator. And this one here goes to the chassis of the regulator. That sits in it like that. Pretty interesting little out nut here. Out nut, you don't have to take the whole thing apart to get all the regulator and everything out. It's all on the outside. It's actually pretty good design like that. Lucas England, 14 TR. 37647A 05821047A is actually the amps. 47 amps. I don't think it'd be that low, surely. I'm not with a battery that big in this. Anyway, let's put this, get this all tensioned up. We'll find out. I don't know how much amps this out there is, but I don't know, it should be at least 80 or 90. As I showed in the previous video on this, the battery in this is pretty damn big. I need it out and at least 80 or 90 amps to charge that up. Especially when you've got lights on here. Tight. Right. It's on. Now put this little back cover back on. Now I might even need to eventually get that a new one of those plugs because that thing is pretty well brittle. Then remove something goes there. It's actually supposed to be a little swing over here. You fold it over and it supports the back of your clip and holds the clip in, but this doesn't have that. It's a tricky part is getting these bolts here in. Uh, try and get that in if I can. Hopefully if all goes good, the set then it shouldn't have too much um, tr trouble. So yeah, the first time I didn't use a proper sandpaper, I only did it by hand. But this time, now I've actually discovered you can do it while it's on the tractor. You can just pull the regulator and brush assembly off and do it this way, as if it's on a lathe. Because I don't have a lathe, so this is the next best thing. I've got that damn thing pretty damn shiny though, so hopefully I'll have good continuity. It should charge the battery. Hopefully. I'll have to desulfate this battery too, because um, it's been like this for a while. We've been starting it and this hasn't been compensating the charge, so that she might be a little tiny bit low. I'm after um yeah this well, using the tractor for a couple of days, just desulfate the battery for about 24 hours or more. Just to give it up to spec. This isn't a bit hard on the plug-in. These things are so damn stiff. Let's get this to plug in. Um, see if I can get this in here. Without touching earth, that it was a spark. I hope that's in. That should be in. Here's a multimeter lady. Try and push that second one in if I can. It's a real hard, tight spot to get to here. Also, it doesn't help when you get a warm manifold. 
So before I do that, get this probe here fixed so I can get a good contact and we can test the battery voltage. Hopefully it should work. Alright, that light shouldn't be on. A little bit of throttle. That lights off when it was running, so now I'm going to try and fix this damn like, multimeter lead. Do a continuity thingy. And we'll bubble it up anyway until we get connection. That's fixed. Now I've got to run the engine and do a voltage check on this battery while it's running. Hopefully, we're going to get some good charge. Alright, very hot this morning, sweating like a pig. Hopefully this outlet is good for now until we get a new set of brushes. Step in some crap. As I said, a battery like this will need a bigger outlet to charge it, especially when you've got two lights at the front. Big 100 watt are there, 100 watt are there. And those ones at the front I think are 50 watts. So. Running on them at once, this battery wouldn't last long. Especially for a couple of hours at a time. What we use it for anyway. Lights off. After the limit, we get it to um, get in at idle. Alright, oh, let's get this voltage test done. There you go, viewers. It actually picked up voltage as soon as I rev that engine. And back to idle the outlet it picked up, so yeah, it does need brushes though, but for now it's working good, so yeah. Good polish of the brushes and commutator, and that outlet is fine again. So yeah, well, as I said, all it needs is brushes, so hopefully I can find a set cheap enough and I just put them in, and that outlet will be like new again, so yeah. Thanks for watching.